I'm Marna, and this is the Twin Flame Detox. Today we're going to be talking about obstacles to ascension, things that are slowing your ascension down. Before we get into that, please like, subscribe, comment, and share this message so it can reach the people who need to hear it. I can guarantee you, you know someone who needs to hear this, whether you know it or not. Make sure that you watch to the end to see how to sign up for individual coaching with me as you navigate your personal integration and ascension process. I will remind you in my previous video on opening your third eye, there is a contest being run. So please make sure that you hop over to the third eye video and check out the contest. All right, so let's get into obstacles to your ascension. Now we all have been learning, especially if you've been watching my previous videos, and yes, this does apply to the Instant Ascension video too. As we ascend, we are on a spiritual journey to move into our higher vibrational frequency and move closer to becoming our fifth dimensional selves. This means that we will be able to transcend the limits of three-dimensional reality and live lives completely different from what you have been led to expect is the norm. So what stops us from doing it? What stops all of us from just accepting this energy, accepting this gift, and moving into our fifth dimensional selves? It's a very good question. Well, the first obstacle to ascension is fear. Fear is a huge roadblock getting through this because it is the end note. It is what's going to happen next. It is leaving the comfort zone of your third dimensional life where you have always been just fine. The next one, this one is a doozy, is the belief that you don't deserve it. Many of us have integrated beliefs from often the people who say they love us the most that say we are not deserving of love. We are not deserving of happiness. We are not deserving of the bliss that comes from li living in the ascended future. Now, you must, must, must face your core wounds. Yes, I've got the video for that up there. And your shadow self. And then you must get past these internalized beliefs that aren't even yours. Just because someone told you when you were 10 that, well, if you don't act right, you don't get whatever this nifty thing is, does not mean that that has to limit every aspect of your life going forward. You deserve happiness. You deserve love. You certainly deserve love from within yourself. And that is what happens as you ascend. You learn how to accept and love who you are exactly as you are. And you learn how to heal those wounds that have been thrown on all of us by people who didn't think before they spoke. You deserve this. You truly do. And it doesn't matter what excuse you come up with as to why you don't. You still deserve this. It is up to you to claim it. Now the next major roadblock is people who believe that I must do something to earn this. You don't have to earn ascension. You do your inner work, yes, so that you are prepared for it, but not to earn it. You have earned the right to be your fifth dimensional self just by existing. You have earned the right to ascend just by surviving to this point in your life with all of the lessons that you have learned, no matter how hard they've been, and no matter what you've had to do to learn them. Your past is not what determines your future. Everything in your past was an opportunity to learn lessons, and you will carry those lessons forward into your ascended self so that you can in turn help guide others. That leads me to another one of my roadblocks. People who do not 
learn their lessons, people who do not apply the wisdom that they have learned from their lessons. How many times have you looked at a friend who keeps going back to the same toxic relationship over and over and over and you've wondered why? Because you know every time they've gone through a breakup, they've come and sobbed in your arms and told you exactly what was wrong and exactly why it didn't work and why it will never work. But then a month later, a year later, they're right back there again in the exact same toxic relationship, even though they know it's toxic. This is not learning your lesson. This is refusing to accept the wisdom that you have already earned at such a hard cost. You must be willing to learn your lessons to be able to continue in your ascension. You must be willing to admit that things may not be perfect, that things did not work out the way you thought they would, that you may have made poor choices and poor decisions. You must be willing to admit that there may be someone in your life who's not good for you, even if that person is yourself or a family member. There are lessons that you are being taught by life continuously, but you must be willing to accept those lessons to be able to continue moving forward. And then the last roadblock that I'm going to talk about is one that is a major stumbling block for a lot of people on the spiritual journey, particularly those of us who've been doing it a while. After a while, you start to think you know it at all. You start to think you know everything there is to know about this. You've read the books, you've done the meditations, you've learned your lessons, you've gone to the gurus, and you start thinking there's nothing more you can learn. That thought pattern leads to stagnation. It leads to sitting there going, why am I not advancing like I thought I would? When you stop opening yourself up to learning, when you stop opening yourself up to new ideas, new concepts, then you stop opening yourself up to growth. Growth is an essential part of this process and you must be willing to learn to grow. There is always new information out there. There will always be downloads. There will always be sudden bursts of insight. There will always be someone who has a viewpoint you haven't considered yet. So no matter how long you've been on this path, and trust me, I've been on this path 23 years as a twin flame. I've been involved in spirituality for 40, almost 43 years now. I don't know it all. You don't know it all either. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner you can continue your growth. So there's my quickie video on what the roadblocks to ascension are that you are putting in your own path. Once you address these roadblocks, you can see how to remove them and continue with your growth and development. Now then, I have a very limited number of spots available for private coaching. If you are interested in working directly with me throughout your um, integration and ascension process, please send an email to twinflamedetox at gmail.com and I or a member of my team will get back in touch with you and we will set up your private consultation to see if we're a good fit. So I'm Marna. This has been the Twin Flame Detox. Thank you for joining me.